All right, by now you've probably heard of the Team Lou's Signature Series lineup of rods. Myself, Andy Montgomery, Greg Hackney, Mark Zona, Kevin Van Dam, all put their thoughts and many years of fishing into, uh, into designing these technique-specific lineup of rods. Now when I say technique-specific, these are you know, what we wanted for particular baits and, and techniques and such, but they're also very versatile. Like this swim bait rod, I've had people tell me that they like it for a sexy dog or top water, school and fish and things like that. But it was designed for like a three quarter ounce squadron head, open water type swim bait. That was my thought process on it because I do this a lot. It's not a target you know, rod for short distances. When you're out in open water, want to be able to outcast everybody else, that's what this rod was designed for. It's seven six, medium heavy. It's got a good backbone right here, but yet it's got a little bit of tip too. To be able to let those fish load up on a swim bait, you don't want to just jack a swim bait, you know, as soon as you feel that fish way out there, you don't want to just you know, lay into him as hard as you can like you're short lining a jig. You want to be able to let that fish load up and then you got that backbone to be able to set the hook on them. So that's the swim bait rod. Absolutely love that one, offshore ledge fishing. When I'm throwing a three quarter to one ounce football jig, I designed the jig worm rod. It's seven two, it's a heavy, you talk about a versatile rod though, man. I pitch a rage bug on this rod. I throw, like right now, I've got a skipping jig on it that I was using in my last tournament with a Strike King rage bug on there. I like it for half ounce to three quarter ounce, but I can even throw, it's got enough backbone in it to where I can throw a one ounce football jig out in open water. I didn't make it much bigger than a 7.2 because this is a feel rod. This is a rod where I want to make a really long cast and I really want to feel every rock. I want to count those rocks with this rod and the sensitivity behind these rods. I can't understand how lose put durability because these rods are so they're just indestructible but yet combine sensitivity into these things too it blows me away how they did that this one is awful good at pitching around cover boat docks 3 8 ounce strike king tungsten weight a four alt must add hook and just going fishing pitching uh, game hogs rage bugs things like that but it's also a really good open water big worm and football jig rod so Love the jig worm rod. Next is a crankbait rod. This one I had to, I just absolutely had to have it. Cause I personally like graphite on a crankbait. Kevin's got an unbelievable, you know, glass composite type square bill rod. And that's, I do throw that rod when I'm around targets and pitching around lay downs and boat docks and stuff like that. I really like his square bill rod. However, in open water, when I'm wanting to outcast, you know, the competition, and just basically all around crankbait fishing from an 8XD down to even a square bill, which I was throwing in this last tournament. I really like the crankbait rod. It's 711, a little bit longer than your traditional crankbait rod. However, again, I wanna be able to make those really long casts and uh, that's very important. I've got the tip on this rod again, nice soft tip to protect your 10 and 12 pound line that you crank with mostly. Whenever you get a fish that surges around the boat, I need that protection. I need that for leverage to be able to make long casts, but yet I've got my backbone here. And guys, you have to set the hook with a crankbait just like you do with anything else. That fish can suck that crankbait in and blow it out faster than you can believe. I've got to have this backbone in there and that's what this rod has. And it's just a good, versatile, lipless crankbait to 6XD, 5XD, what have, I throw every crankbait on that rod. Last but not least, Carolina rig rod. If you guys haven't seen our Pro Team Journal where we're up on Champlain setting the hook on those small mouth, we had a lot of fun with this rod. Carolina rig is not dead, folks. It's very much alive and well, and I love it. I use it all the time. It's just a really good technique that fish don't see a lot these days. They think, people think it's washed up, but having a bait away from a weight in its natural you know, flowing, letting the water hit it, current, what have you. If you're throwing a rage bug or what have you, and it's just allowing the action of those rage phalanges and tails and 
tentacles and things like that. So just gives you a really good natural presentation. This is a 7.5, heavy action, good backbone through and through to allow you to set the hook way out there, half ounce, three quarter, one ounce Carolina rig weights. It really allows you to, and it's light. It's the lightest 7.5 you've ever picked up. Again, the technology that went into these rods was unbelievable how indestructible and sensitive and light. And hey, they look cool too.